It started way back with the SNA week and now it has climaxed with the October rain. That's how the Society of Nigerian Artists are showing off their skills. The Society of Nigerian Artists in Lagos has had a plate full of activities in the third quarter of this year. It started with the SNA Week in August with a live demonstration by artists at the National Stadium Junction, under the bridge, and many other activities. Well, SNA Week is just about bringing artists together. For us, it's not just about working and painting in the studios, but artists being the sort of people they are, they like to hibernate in the studios, they like to uh, just sit in the studios and create, but we need to bring them out, sometimes to mix. They need to know about each other, they need to form bonds, they need to form you know, uh, relationships that will last them all through life. So that's what the, uh, the SNOG is all about, bringing artists together under an atmosphere of play, an atmosphere of relaxation. And during the SNO week, there's football, there's uh, there are games like table tennis, there are games like Ludo, you know, and of course, uh, this particular instance, we had a very important event. We had plain air painting right there at Tsuleri, right close to, under the bridge, close to the National uh, uh, Stadium. And it was very important because, um, you know, it was a way of getting arts, artists to interact with the general public. Fast forward to this current show, which is the highlight of the group's activities, the SNA Lagos 21st Annual Juried Exhibition, the art community is always waiting for the October rain to fall. Well, October rain uh, is an annual event of SNA Lagos, and um, this is the 21st Annual Juried Exhibition, you know, since it has started. And is a is a is an event that has been put together to showcase work of over 100 artists, you know, um, and these are mainly works that are done in the year two, um, 2019. So, what you are seeing here are the uh, present best of the artist, you know, and they are unique in their own way. Each work is unique, you know, each work has a particular style, each work has a, their own technique, you know, and its own quality. And so this is a statement from the Society of Nigerian Artists that we are a professional body. And um, what we are trying to do is to uh, establish the high standard of professionalism in our individual arts uh, as a field. The anticipation is high because of the array of works featured. Only the best from each artist is chosen, no matter the medium of expression. It's growing, experimental works are coming on and new works are being created every year. Like in today, we have very many exciting works produced in paintings, produced in prints, produced in metal work, produced in sculptures. And the audience, the audience is increasing. 
every year. It's a mixture of both, both old artists and young artists. Imagine a Bruce Honorable Choir showing at this show. Um, it's seven year old, and uh, a young graduate uh, from my school, the other College of Technology, of just um, 22, 23, uh, having a show together. And one of the things that it will do is that it will delight the young artist that at least uh, he's having um, a, a, a show with um, some of these older artists. And so the, this fame that have actually, that these old artists have groomed over the years, have snowballed into them. So what, that's one of the objectives of this um, um, October Rain exhibition. This year, it's more than just displaying creativity and dexterity and thoughts becoming reality. The show is organized in honor of two great icons, master sculptor Bisi Fakeye and culture advocate and curator Bisi Silva, who left an indelible mark in the art world. The October Ring is, is a fantastic idea and um, it's actually also a laudable idea to celebrate my late father and, and Bisi Silva. You know. Because these are people that have contributed immensely into you know, the Nigerian art, art scene. October Rain 2019, as we have tagged it to be, when thought become reality, has really you know, bring out the excellency in the, in the uh, creativity in the, in, the, in, in, in the life of the artists that have showcased work this year. You can see it in the works of so many of our artists like the work of uh, Ido Shonaya, for instance, the work that's just at my back. You can see the work of um, Dotun Popola, the one that is just facing me directly. And also in the work of Badmos, Jordan Badmos, and the uh, uh, Fake, the, the wood carving work, and so many other works. The Freedom Park in Lagos is the venue for this exhibition and the air of freedom can be seen in the works of art displayed by these artists, a blend of old hands and young blood. Now let's take a peek of what we'll show you the next time you tune in to Art House. Next week on Art House, An exhibition by six young and vibrant artists dishing the audience energy and creativity. In fact, it's really amazing. So the thing for me is I used to paint, I used to draw some time ago, but I think I just really dumped, you know, that skill somewhere. But now that I'm seeing so much artwork, you know, it's really, really inspiring. And I really think I would love to go back to my books and do something. Then Ademola Deshino is whispering colors with his solo show at the Moore House in Lagos. First of all, we have to recognize one thing that is very important. Without vision, no one can hear the voice of color. It's only those that see that can actually hear what colors are saying. We have that and more on the next episode of Art House. Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. That's Art House this week. Thank you so much for watching. And always remember that you can see this or any other edition of Art House on our various social media platforms, especially our YouTube page. I'm Melinda Akinlami. See you next time.